all right guys welcome back to a brand new video today guys we are going to be reviewing and playing the willaboom theme deck here from the new set sword and shield this is the second theme deck i'm going to be looking at we looked at the cinderace one yesterday this video is going up for the pdcgo subreddit so that you guys um who are new to the game can get a gauge and whether or not you want to buy these new theme decks and let's look at the Rillaboom one. So the Rillaboom one, um, I actually played against in my Cinderace video. So you can kind of see it in action there too if you want. So Rillaboom is your main guy. Now this is a grass theme deck. Um, so it's not a terrible theme deck. Um, looking at it, we have Rillaboom as your main guy. Now there is a better Rillaboom that just came out in Sword and Shield with an ability to attach two grass energy from your deck to one of your Pokemon. Um, but this Rillaboom we have instead 190 HP. So again, a very, very bulky stage two Pokemon. That's really good for a theme deck. Having 190 HP is actually really relevant. Um, that's a lot of health to have. So you have two attacks. You have drum roll, three energy, you do 90 and then 10 damage to each your opponent's bench Pokemon. Then you have drum beating, which four does 180 damage. Now that's a lot of energy to be powered up. And we actually do have this Eldegoss in here with the attack Blessings of Fluff, which allows you to search your deck for up to three grass energy and attach them to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. So this is kind of going to be how we gonna, how we are going to build up the Rillaboom. If we can get this guy in play quick enough, we can use Blessings of Fluff to power up our attackers. We do have this Whimsicott here. Uh, not very good. Um, I will... Conrad could be pretty useful for the point of hedge. Your opponent shuffles their active and all cards attached from their deck. One for 50. Um, it's, I mean, not terrible. One for 50 is actually pretty strong, um, in all honesty. But Cotton Ride is actually pretty useful. If your opponent has a big threat in play and you get lucky, that Pokemon go back in their deck. We have this Maractus here, too, with powerful needles. Flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon. It does 60 damage for each heads. Um, so, yeah, if you put, like, five energy on this thing, you're flipping five coins. You just got to get lucky with your heads. I think one of the main uh, appeals in this deck is going to be the Snorlax here. Snorlax is a non-fire non weak Pokemon in this deck. And that is relevant because if you run into Relentless Flame, you have the Snorlax here with the attack heavy impact for 130 and rolling tackle for 80. So we can build this guy up obviously through the uh, Blessing of Fluff attack. And I like having the Snorlax in here as a backup that is not weak to fire. Um, so those are all your Pokemon. Let's go into the items now and the trainers. Starting things off with the supporters. Uh, we get three Professor's Research. So again, a great pickup if you're trying to build decks in the new format. Having Professor's Research is actually super relevant because it is one of the best supporters now. So a lot of decks are going to be playing at least four of these. So picking yourself up the Steam Deck, getting yourself three of them, it's pretty good. Um, we also get Center Lady here. Um, healing your Pokemon can be pretty useful and annoying to the opponent. Uh, there's a Poke Kid, not that great of a card, but it can come in handy. And then there's just four hop, draw three cards. This is not a good supporter in our standard format. In the theme deck format, it is what it is. Um, we go into the items here we get. We are getting some potions. We get some extra heals. We got a Poke Gear, which allows you to look at the top seven cards, choose a supporter. So this can help you dig for your professor's research or your hops. There's an Ornary Rod, which can shuffle up to two basic energy and two base Pokemon, which means you can actually get back some important resources um, in the game. There's four Great Balls of Help Finder Pokemon also, and there is a couple switches in here to switch. So yeah, this is the theme deck for Rillaboom along with 18 energy, by the way. But yeah, this is the Rillaboom theme deck. Looking at it here, now let's go play some games with it and uh, check out if this theme deck is worth picking up. Okay, here we go, guys. We're going to get some games with the Rillaboom theme deck here. Try it out and see how good it is and see if this theme deck is worth picking up at all. It's going to take a while to find a game it looks like. Oh, there we go. And if you guys want to see another Real Boom game, you can also check out the video I did on the Cinderace deck where I played against the Real Boom deck. Spoiler alert, I did lose. And we're up against, it looks like, the Dragonite theme deck here. So this will be interesting. My opponent's choosing to go first, which is fine. We get a Maractus Snorlax start. So we're definitely going to start with Maractus here, I think. Again, one of our main goals right now is going to be to try to get a Eldegoss in play to do Blessing of Fluff. That's going to be our goal. We'll bench the two Snorlax. They start with the Thunderous, so they get a Tornado on the bench, they can actually do 70 here. Let's see, we draw another energy. We'll play the hop first. We got more more stuff. We have a Thwacky. If we can get a uh, a Grookey here, we can slowly build up to Rillaboom, which isn't bad. Snorlax can maybe take a few hits. Snorlax can actually take two hits from Thunderous Gale, which is good. They will find a Pidgeotto, so they could easily get a Tornadus here to attack me for 70. They're also going to be able to build up for... Raging Thunder, but they have to do 40 damage to one of their bench Pokemon, which is good for Rillaboom's first attack drum roll, actually. What they bench? A Chinchou? I don't know how good this Dragonite theme deck is just yet. I think it's like kind of mediocre, I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong though. Uh, 
let's see we draw another grass all right we're just gonna have to slowly build up a snorlax then i guess we're just gonna hit for 20 we're probably gonna get knocked out here we could risk it and go for a powerful needles and possibly knock out the snort and knock out the thunderous but we need to get two heads i'm not i'm not gambling today i'm actually fine with my point having to raging thunder they have to hit something on their bench for 40 they have to set things up to be killed perfectly fine with that Hopefully we can draw something soon though that can get us somewhere. It's the problem with theme decks, guys, is the draw consistency is so weird and not good. Uh, I guess like this theme deck at least has Pidgeotto to kind of help them draw a few cards every now and then, which is, you know, good. All right, they're probably gonna hit Chin Chow for 40, I'm guessing. Yep. So we can kind of let Snorlax take a few hits here while we build up this Snorlax. Unless we can draw a Thwacky. <laughs> Another Grass Energy. Just what I needed. More energy. This is uh, kind of bad. They get the Dragonite in play. They can use Hurricane Charge to actually build themselves up. And they have two Pidgeotos. Ah, oh, their setup is so good right now. We're just... We're just drawing, like, just nothing to help us here. Not even a hop. Not even a research to get us anywhere. And they already, this thing's already got three energy on it. Yeah, we're cooked. We are actually cooked, guys. Maybe we should have just risked it and try to take a knockout with powerful needles. Because we're cooked. I, uh, unless we draw things soon, we're going to lose in like two turns. Like, we're just going to lose here. Unless they like retreat into Dragonite to knock me out, which I'd be fine with. Because then they'd have to lose all their energy. And they don't think something for 40, but they're actually going to hit me Okay, never mind. Another grass energy. Thank you. Love to see it. Probably should have knocked them out there. Yeah, we probably should have just taken the knockout for 80. There's nothing we can do. I think we actually just lose this, guys. Unless we can draw a research or something to draw us into a new hand. If we don't draw like a hop or a research or just something that can get us like two Pokemon in play, or at least one extra Pokemon to live a turn. We're done for, guys. We're going to lose the game if we don't get a basic off the top deck here. But it will probably be another energy. I don't know if this theme deck is just Brick City or not, but apparently it is. Because we're getting bodied by my opponent's Dragonite deck right now. We're, like, just getting bodied. I'm actually building a Lantern. Surprised they're not putting more energy on Dragonite. All right, well... This is it, folks. If we don't draw a Pokemon here, we just lose the game. Yeah, this theme deck, um, I don't know what to tell you guys. That's, uh, not good. I'll say that right now. That, that, that's not good. That was pretty awful. We probably definitely should have just taken the knockout on the Thunders there. That prize card could have been a Pokemon. We should have just taken the knockout. I don't know. That, that was just a terrible game. All right, we're in a mirror match. This could come down to really who gets the first Eldegoss in play. Ah, oh, they, they go first too. I don't like that. We don't get an Eldegoss. We get a Snorlax start. They're going first. Don't know what to tell you. Okay, they get a Maractus. So that's not an Eldegoss at least, which is good. That's at least good. And all right. Okay, so what we can do here is we actually build up the Rillaboom in the background, which I think I'm going to do. And we also get a... Glo G What's this thing called? Gossifler? Yeah, I get a Gossifler. So we're just going to be in top deck mode for a bit, but that's fine. This Maractus can do its thing. And then in the background, we're going to build up to a Rillaboom here. Seems pretty good. We just got to hope they don't get one of those... Get super lucky with powerful needles. Okay, they actually hit two heads. Well, good thing we uh, survive. They didn't have three heads there. That could have been pretty bad. We are going to need to get an energy top deck, though, for sure, in the coming turns if we even want to attack with Rillaboom. They might have, like, five energy on him, and then we just hope they get super unlucky with the tails. I don't know. Two games in a row in the theme deck is starting to brick for me, guys. I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like bricking, and this theme deck apparently is Brick City. And they're not bricking. They have a research in their hand. But they do lose a supporter, two supporters, and they lose a Rillaboom. But they get this in play. I think we're going to have to maybe bring in another Grookey here. Or we get insanely lucky. Okay, that works too. And there's an energy for Rillaboom. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we can bring in Rillaboom next turn if we do get knocked out. They actually... 
Okay, so they had to do powerful needles. Okay, we got pretty lucky there. They got triple tails. That is actually pretty good. Um, there's a great ball. Will they find an Eldegoss off of this? They could also get a Thwacky. All right, that's not going to do anything for them. They don't have a Grookey in play. Okay. Despite them getting the first supporter, it looks like we might get the first couple prizes here. Oh, they had the Eldegoss in their hand. They can build up Snorlax. They're going to Pokey Kid. They find Rillaboom. Okay, they didn't get a Grookey unless they already have a Grookey in their hand. If they build up a Rillaboom, we could be in trouble. Not going to lie. We could be in trouble. Let's see if they take a knockout here. Let's see if they go for the knockout. I really hope we can draw a supporter, though, guys. I really hope we can draw a supporter soon. I'll even take a research at this point or a hop. Pokey Kid will be terrible, but at least it'll get us something. And they get three heads. All right, that is actually really lucky that they get three heads when they're already knocking me out. That tells us that luck might be on my side today. Okay, Pokey Gear. Will it find us a supporter? It does. It does get us a research. Uh, we're not going to bother with that ornate rod. We're just going to go for the research. I don't want the Snorlax. Nice. We got another Thwacky. Uh, yeah, I think we just take a knockout here. Just put as much pressure on him as we can. Make him have an energy for the Eldegoss. And we get a switch. That's pretty good. So we can build up another Rillaboom in the background. Okay, this is looking pretty good. This is looking a lot better than that first game in terms of actually attacking. They actually choose to go Whimsicott. If they get heads on Cotton Ride, guys, that's going to be terrible. I'm actually... If they get Tails, we're probably going to switch and rack this, I think. Nice, they get Tails. Whew. So we're 10 damage short on the knockout. Oh, they concede. That's fine. They just concede. Okay, we do find a dub there. Um, I probably would have switched because they get another turn to try to shuffle me in the deck. We actually weren't going to knock them out. They had 10 HP remaining. Um, they have 100 HP, so they would not have been knocked out by our first attack there. So I think it was best to play switch. I probably would have switched into the... Potentially one of the other Grookies or the other... Oh, mirror match again. All right. Apparently everyone likes this Rillaboom theme deck, apparently, because that's what people are playing. I think this deck's main appeal is honestly the Eldegoss, which we have yet to actually use in this video. But that might be like the main appeal of the deck is the Eldegoss, because it allows you to just put a bunch of energy in play. So I guess Eldegoss is like the best card in the deck. That's maybe the big appeal. We get a center lady. All right, we'll put energy on Snorlax and just pass, and then we'll, go for, we'll have to go for Call of Family next turn. Not the ideal start we were looking for. And they get one of their, they get their only Poke Gear. Will this find them a supporter? It doesn't? Okay, that's a good sign. They actually should have done Great Ball before they did Poke Gear, actually. Unless they're, well, I guess they're desperate for a Pokemon. But we're not really putting them on the clock right now. Unless we want to attack them or Actis. But they should have done the Great Ball before the Poke Gear. Because they would have had a higher odds of hitting um, a thing there. Do draw a switch. All right, we'll go for a Call for Family here, I think. And just get some stuff in play. I think we just go Grookey. Cottony. Just in case we need that Whimsicott option. You never know, it might come in handy. I maybe should have attached to this to do Rolling Tackle next turn. But it's fine. I want to get more Pokemon down. I don't really mind if Glossifer gets knocked out. Oh, they get a Research. But they have to lose both Wacky and Rillaboom. That's good. That's pretty good. Whimsicott could be an issue, though. If they get heads on Snorlax. That'll be pretty bad. Alright, let's see here. Will we top deck? Another Maractus. All right, well, looks like we're just going to have to hit them for 10, I guess. Which I've, I'm fine with. If we get to hit them for 10 one more time, we can knock them out with heavy impact. Maybe we should have just done the 80 damage the whole time. Maybe that was a misplay, not doing 80 damage there. Maybe that was a misplay. Well, if they attack me, we'll center Lady, I guess, so it's fine. If they hit me for 130, we'll center Lady it. I'm fine with that. As long as we have one more Gossifer, Gossifer, I don't even want to pronounce that, but that's too hard to pronounce. All right, we drew a Pokey Kid. That will get us. And it's definitely going to get us uh, an Eldegoss, just so that opens the door up to a Grass Energy attaching to some Pokemon. We just hit them with a Rolling Tackle for 80. We'll heal next turn. They do 130. That's going to waste an Energy Attachment, and then we just uh, Pokemon Center Lady Arsenal Relax. Seems good. Oh, there's a great ball. They can get an Eldegoss, but they don't. I'm assuming that's what they're looking for here. 
I mean, they have the Thwacky, so they're already really close to getting the Rillaboom in play. Hopefully we can draw a supporter. We do. Okay, we'll save it, obviously. We'll heal first. We aren't gonna get an Energy or a Thwacky in play, but we have the time to chill. Take a Knockout, heal ourselves. They're probably gonna go Whimsicott. They're either gonna go Whimsicott or Glossifer if they have the, uh, if they have the thing. Okay, they are gonna go this, okay. That's fine. And they're gonna get the uh, Eldegoss, it looks like. They're gonna build up for Rillaboom, which is kind of scary. We'll see if they find the Rillaboom, though. They did lose one, but they still have great balls. And they've played how many supporters? They've played a few. There are, I think they're out of Poke Kids. Okay. Do another Grookey. I think we'll bench that. We'll just go for the research, I think. Just trying to get as much as we can. Nice, we got the Thwacky. We are going to take a knockout here. I'm not going to play the energy. We're going to save that for the Elder Gods. If I had another energy, I would have attached it, though. And we do find a Thwacky. All right, they're going to go Whimsicott, as expected. They're probably going to go for a Cotton Ride here. Oh, they had a research. Wait, did they just discard a Great Ball without playing it? No, okay, they got rid of the Switch, okay. That's actually kind of relevant, to be honest with you. Losing Switch is kind of relevant, not gonna lie. All right, they're probably gonna find Rillaboom here. Okay, they're gonna already Rod. That can actually get them back to Rillaboom. So they have a Great Ball in their hand. They actually have pretty high odds of hitting Rillaboom then, I guess. If that's where they're gonna go for. Yeah, they're gonna put back the Rillaboom with Wacky. Not the Eldegoss, though. They already have a uh, Glossifer in play. Cotton Ride does get Tails, which is good. Let's see what we draw. Do a hop. All right, let's keep evolving our little uh, tree boys here. Get the Rillaboom in play. I'm going to play hop before I do anything else, just in case. Okay. And we will take a knockout here. And now we're hoping they don't have a uh, Rillaboom. But they attack me. We're going to go Eldegoss, build up our own Rillaboom, and go from there. So we're kind of on course to winning the game, I think. Did they just draw that? What the heck? But they will have to do 180 damage to knock me out here. Then we go Eldegoss, build up our own Rillaboom. And then that is pretty much checkmate, I think. We can even bench another Eldegoss. Maractus could be a problem, though, too, if they build that up slowly. But they have to get really lucky with their heads. Okay. So we are kind of poised to win this game, I think. Hopefully, I didn't just jinx myself there. Hopefully, we should have enough energy left. Yeah, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. We have more than enough energy. Yeah. We have tons. Honestly, their best bet, if they had those switches, would probably be to try to hit me with a Maractus. Because, like, bro, they're going to lose the Rillaboom. That's their main attacker. They can build this up, try to do 180, but we have 190 HP, not 180. Well, I guess they're going to do 10 damage to me, right? Okay. Okay, maybe that is relevant to them. Spoke too soon. I guess we should, Actually, let's just potion this and then just leave it at full HP. They didn't even get energy on Maractus. All right. All right, so as you can see, guys, the Eldegoss is what makes this deck have the potential. Honestly, I haven't even played the Inteleon deck yet, but I feel like this deck might be better than the Inteleon deck. I'm just going to hit them with a drum beating. Oh, wait, they survive. That's right, they actually live. Good thing we played the potion. Okay, this is... I'm definitely going to hold the hand. I have an idea. Go drum beating. Hope they don't play center lady. And then we're going to switch and knock them out with Eldegoss. Or we can just drum roll them if they don't have an energy. Or they don't have a center lady. They probably have their center lady. They haven't played it yet. They have a massive hand. They probably have their center lady here. But as you can see, guys, Eldegoss. Honestly, you get this in play and you get a real boom play. It's looking good. Okay. They have 10 HP. We can knock them out with... We can knock him out with this Cottony if we wanted to, which we might as well do. Bit of a mean thing to do, but we might as well. Kind of wish we could still heal this. We might have a potion left. I can't remember. I don't think we do, though. Oh, no, we do. If we can find potion at some point. Oh, we can knock him out with Whimsicott even better. Next turn, we can do another Eldegoss play and build up another Rillaboom if we want. Okay. So we're chilling. We're chilling. Let's see if they knock me out here. They definitely can go three energy, which will help them get a knockout if they are going to go for it. At this point, they're probably going to try to get another real boom play. We're going to try to get ours in play next.
Let's see what they do. Powerful needles. They do knock me out. They do get triple heads, which is better than them getting just the one heads for the knockout. Or the two heads, sorry. I think we are going to bring in Rillaboom. It is risky, but we have Eldegoss to fall back. Oh, no, we can't. They have two prizes. So we need to heal here. We really actually need to heal. Hmm. I think we're just going to go research and try to hit a potion. Nice. We did get it. Beautiful. Might as well play this, too. Get back some of our boys. I think we'll put these two back. Because Cottony, one for 50, could be relevant. And they can see the game. I think I'll wrap today's video, guys, on the Rillaboom theme deck review here. Leaving you guys with those matches. You guys kind of got a gander of how the deck plays. I think this Rillaboom theme deck is on a rating out of 10. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. I think this theme deck, I think the main selling point, um, without a doubt, is going to be the Eldegoss. Like, this thing makes all the difference. Blessing of Fluff is what makes this deck good. I think without the Eldegoss, this theme deck would be awful. Um, so, Eldegoss really does make the difference. I'm going to give this a 6 out of... 6.5 out of 10. Um, I maybe, I'll, maybe a 7 out of 10, too, to be honest. Like, this thing is really good. Eldegoss is really good at building stuff up. But the problem is, if your opponent has a really powerful setup, though, and even if you get to build one Pokemon up, and that Pokemon will end up going down, you pretty much have to rely on the Rillaboom. You have Snorlax, which is a little bulky, too. But I feel like if you have something in play, you build up with Eldegoss, but they have two Pokemon in play that are already ready to body you, you're kind of back to square one. But in early game, Eldegoss is actually pretty old piece. So I'm going to give this maybe a 7 out of 10. I think I'll stick with a 6.5 out of 10. Um, not bad, though. And it also does have some good draw supports. Of course, Research is a really good card to have in the deck. Not a bad theme deck. Uh, this might honestly be the best of the uh, Sword and Shield decks. I haven't played the Inteleon deck yet, but... So far, this theme deck seems to be the best out of the three because Blessing of Fluff, and I don't think the Inteleon deck has anything close to that. So, yeah. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below to help me the Rotary Machine 7,000 subs if you are new. Um, and let me know if you guys pick up the Rillaboom theme deck at all if you're going to play with it. Let me know. Let me know what you guys thought of the deck if you did play with it. Let me know how you guys did with it. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day, and bye-bye.